Muy buenas a todos chavales, bienvenidos de nuevo al canal, bienvenidos a un nuevo capítulo de Walking Dead Vamos a continuar justamente donde lo dejamos en el anterior capítulo Ya sabéis que vamos por la temporada 1, hicimos ya el episodio 1, tenemos el episodio 2, episodio 3, episodio 4, episodio 5 y el DLC que es el episodio especial 400 días, es lo que contiene la primera temporada Pero vamos a por el episodio 2 que es justamente el que tenemos pendiente, hambrientos de ayuda Así que vamos para allá, ya sabéis si no estáis suscritos al canal suscribiros de la campana de notificaciones Si os interesáis con dos de luces de cuando subimos vídeos, si os gusta pues nada, dejad un buen, un buen like Me voy a callar para disfrutar de esta pedazo segundo capítulo de la primera temporada de The Walking Dead Hasta luego I know who you are. I, I got drive. another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, your ass. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Ah, <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat.
Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that what guys why the fuck is there a bear trap out here who raided your camp hey, i don't know guys with guns please we won't bother you i swear please this is fucked up We've gotta help please then shut up my dad was special forces i know what i'm doing just see if you can get him out after that you can leave us or whatever i don't care please we gotta get him out of there Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Is he... is he gonna make it? Ah! Lee, do something! You can get it open? Ah! Please! You can't just leave Please. him like this! Get me out of this! Get the chain! Come on, do something! There's so much Hurry. blood! Go, ah! Let's go! Ah! You have to get him out. You have to. Forget it. We use jail like that. There the has to be a way out of this. You're not cutting through that. Lee, it has to be now. How would somebody do this? There's got to be another. Oh man. Oh man. Damn it, Lee! Shut up! No, 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 stop. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. No, no, no! Try the trap again! I can't keep him back forever! Please. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go! Ah. Ah. So many of them! He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move!
get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, god. Hell what's going on? I don't have time to explain. B, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kanja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. 
You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up.
That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine... I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it.
Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened? None left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off! Harley. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. 
I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there, anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for... Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always okay. pulling this shit. And it's... Who? Those look like the people who raided my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, you. and you guys were keeping it There's all for yourself! Oh, no. There's no. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. Let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John's Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. 
A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Everything in here looks safe, and now I know where to find some rope in case they need help tying anything down. I do for you, sweetie. Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. 
Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. A few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. This rope is perfect for the swing. something to cut it down to size. This might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. 
Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. Never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Uh. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. 
Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! Ah! Ah! I told you what would happen, you What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! I can do this all day! I see him! Quick! He'll see you! Get closer! Don't think I can't see you! I got you now. Try to lure me to the open. Wait, hurry up. You asshole! Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through get this fence and back brother. to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Give us the food! We had an agreement. Now you fuck! What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down early. I'm gonna have to move him. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Give us the food! Where do you think you're going? What about our weapons? We had a deal! Uh, another one? How many of those things did we push down? Push out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh uh, my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? Could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. 
Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. That thing keeps a fence electrified. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? Well, I'd like to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. 
Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lovin. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Get lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Storing gasoline all over the property. Hmm. Wait. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you 
you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Yeah. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Just water. Empty, but it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. 
I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Your gun's down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me! What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. And screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? 
Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clint. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. I want to put in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay.
empty. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? You gotta think about that little girl, Lee. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. On, Lee. Did something happen? You're keeping something to yourself, Lee. And by the time you come clean, it's gonna be too late. We need to start thinking about getting the hell out of here. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, 
I'd be careful, Lee. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Just gonna borrow this for a second. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. to do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. Make an excuse for you. That thing off.
the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, <laughs> Brenda, Biscuits? you are Why? an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. Us, we had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? What the hell? Someone needed some first aid recently. Candles. Smart. Who do they need so much morphine for? made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the That's hell? ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? 
Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking out of here! My Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! in time come on dad now's not the time you okay clementine they they didn't hurt you did they mm -mm. open up lee those psychos have my family and we're stuck in a damn meat locker we gotta get the fuck out of here this goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here will you all just shut the fuck up i'm scared don't be it's gonna be okay i'm gonna find us a way out of here These pallets. Let us out now! If you want to live, that is not gonna help. No such luck. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking hmm. apocalypse gives you the right? I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, <sighs> easy. <sighs> Poor bastard at the motel. How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. 
That man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kitty, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three! You're fucking worthless, Lee. Five! No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm so what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. He was still lively. He was still alive. You have to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? A 
ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Still carried his wallet. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Any. 
Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Well, we're sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick each one to keep them alive. Not the kid. I don't know if on the trail. <laughs> oh, I know, Mabel. This is Lee, my favorite focus. part. Focus. Where's Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Hey, tell me something. Lee. Tell me what's going on. Understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fuck. I'll keep Clementine safe. Too long. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? 
I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. It's me.
that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you you all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers.
Don't shoot! We're here to help! Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. Well, what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. 
it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up though. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! <laughs> Bueno chavales, espectacular segundo capítulo de esta primera temporada, lo he disfrutado un montón, además súper largo, espero que os haya gustado, ya sabéis como siempre chavales, gracias por estar ahí, nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. ¡Hasta pronto! ¡Chao, chao!